This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. My name is Robert Hawkins, and I am an American war correspondent broadcasting from inside the heart of the besieged Warsaw. What I'm about to tell you is a story. A story of ordinary men and women all across Europe who have stood up to Nazi tyranny and oppression. For four years, I have traveled with these remarkable people, partisans, freedom fighters, and home armies. I have lived with them, fought with them, and seen the sacrifices they've made in the name of freedom. I have documented their stories, and now they must be told. This is a story of resistance. Come on, move! I didn't think it would be this bad. It'll get worse before it gets better. We must get back on the barricade. Come on, we must help! Attack! Hawkins, to the barricades! If it moves, kill it! I was in Spain for a time in 38, and there was France. Come on, Hawkins, we haven't got all day. Let's go. This way. Voices from the underground, right? You went through my things? I'm just jotting down some thoughts, observations, really. Oh, words can be used as a sword that cuts both ways. Mind you remember that in your observations. This is my mother's homeland. I'm mindful of that every moment I'm here. <laughs> That's good. Rosetta Hawkins, you're late. The Germans aren't on our timetable. Better late than not at all. The policy of your President Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, we are taking St. Cross Church. We will take the Nazis by surprise from two points of entry. Are you in? Consider it done. Can I take Hawkins with me? No, I have another job for him. We need at least two entry points into the church to catch the enemy off guard. I'll see what I can do. That tunnel will bring you close to the school, while this route is the quickest to the station. Get some new gear from Kowalski over there, and good luck. We'll meet later. Kozera, I need you to take a small team of men and ambush that Nazi convoy. You must stop it from getting there. Which do you prefer? Yes, sir. My thoughts exactly. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> 